Welcome to the Barnes Tennis Center in San Diego. It's day one of the West Coast Conference Men's and Women's Tennis Tournament. And I'm sitting here with Santa Clara's John Lamble. Santa Clara just beat St. Mary's in their first match of the tournament. And first of all, congratulations on your win today. Thank you. You're welcome. Now tell me a little bit about your match. How did you feel, feel like you played today? Um, you know, it was tough adjusting to the new courts here at Barnes. Um, our courts at home at Santa Clara are much faster and the ball stays low. Here the balls bounce up higher and like I said, they're pretty slow. So it was tough adjusting, especially on the serve. It's a big server like uh, Joaquim. Um, but luckily I was able to come through today. And now you're match ended up being the one that clinched it for Santa Clara. Tell me a little bit about that. All your teammates are watching you. You said you didn't even notice that you were the clinching match, but what's going through your mind when you kind of realize that your match is the one that did it? Um, well, yeah, during the actual match, I, I knew it was coming down to the wire because I could sense uh, my other teammates coming over. Um, and so I knew I was one of the last matches on, but I didn't know I was the deciding match. And it was uh, tough because I had a match point at 5-2 on his serve and couldn't convert. Uh, and then in the next game, I held that love. And then uh, it was a great feeling to have all the guys rush the court and realize it was the clinching match. It was a great feeling for my senior year, especially. And that first set, you end up winning it in a tiebreaker, <laughs> lose the second set. But that first set, what does that do for you when you kind of get a big win in a tiebreaker to start off the match like that? Yeah, after, having, after playing the first set, um, I mean, it was a long set. It was a grind. Um, I was happy to get it and only won by a few points in the tiebreaker, 7-4. Um, helped me get a little bit mo of momentum. Um, unfortunately, he started to play, well, to his credit, he started to play better in the second set and uh, he did a good job uh, keeping his level up and he was able to get that with one break. And then um, luckily I got off to a good start in the third and kind of coasted all the way through. Were there any adjustments you made in that third set to take it in the end? I was focusing on keeping my energy level high and realizing there was just one set to go. I was just trying to focus on every point as much as I could while staying relaxed at the same time. And after the match, your coach kind of huddled your team on the court there. What did he say to you? What was his message to your team after this match? Uh, he just said, great job, guys. Uh, you know, way to fight, uh, way to dig down. and. Um, he was just really happy that we got the win today. What did you take from today that you think you did particularly well in your match? I'd say I did a good job adjusting, like I said, to the new court um, and had to be more patient today than I normally am. And what do you think you can take for tomorrow that you need to work on or that you know maybe to adjust to a little bit better tomorrow? Um, because the ball bounces up higher here, step in more with my returns. All right, now you play USF tomorrow. You, you beat yes. them earlier this year. Yes. Um, what do you think is going to be the key to beating them again tomorrow? Uh, I mean, it's going to be a tough match. Everyone's going to have to bring uh, their full energy and focus, and we're going to have to fight like crazy. All right, well, John, congratulations on your win today. And we will be right here at the Barnes Tennis Center in San Diego all week long.